In this video, we're going to look at how to graph the linear parent function. And for all of those of you who've been in algebra, you know that the linear parent function is y equals x. This is the most basic line. It's the line that all other lines want to be. But this one is the most basic one to write out or draw. So on this one, one of the ways that you can think about it is in table form. And you get to pick whatever x's you want to put in. Um, say I want to put in negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. If I put in negative 2 in a function machine in place of x, I would get negative 2 out. So negative 2 gave me negative 2. If I had a negative 1, I throw in a negative 1, I get out a negative 1. So I have the point negative 1, negative 1. Same thing's going to happen if I throw in a 0. If I throw in a 0, I'm going to get out a 0. If I throw in a 1, I'm going to get out a 1. And if I throw in a 2, I'm going to get out a 2. Well, those points look pretty easy to graph. So we need a graph. So we draw our little coordinate plane, label it our x-axis and y-axis, and then we just need to put some points on it. So the points that we gathered were negative 2, negative 2, negative 1, negative 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, and 2, 2. Notice these are all going in a line so we can connect the dots. to form our parent function line. That's one way to graph the parent function. The other way is to know our information about lines. This happens to be in slope intercept form. You might not recognize the slope right away, but it's hidden in front of the x. Remember that's always at 1x. And at the end, our y-intercept, since there's nothing else there, we could put plus 0. So this has a slope of 1 and a y-intercept of 0. So if we were graphing that, We would start with our coordinate plane. I'll let that focus back in. We have a y-intercept of 0, so we're going to put a point at 0, 0. And our slope is 1, or 1 over 1, which tells us to go up 1 and to the right 1. So up 1, right 1, up 1, right 1, up 1, right 1, up 1, right 1, up 1, right 1. Or we could go down one and to the left one because remember those negatives would cancel still making this a positive one. It says we go down one and left one. So down one, left one, down one, left one, down one, left one, down one, left one. And we could keep doing that until we hit the edges of our graph. Then we would connect our dots. There's a second way to graph our parent function for a linear function or for a line. 